it's like I, I sometimes feel like with any program, I talk to friends with uh, an I program. Hey, so guess what? With CMA, we don't beef with other programs. Like, we don't go out our way to beef. I'm just letting you know. I think I talked to a million programs last weekend, and we talked about this label, everybody's label. Who's your top team? My top team is green. My top team is the gold lightning bolts. And I all had the same issue where I have five players that match that energy. I might have six or seven or eight on my team. And the parents' energy is here. Mm-hmm. But those kids are like, I'm okay with getting developed a little bit. Right. I'm all right. My mom and dad are mad because I'm not starting. Right. Or my mom and dad are mad because I don't play X amount of minutes. That's not development. And so when I look at those teams and we put this thing, I'm like, our whole thing is based on development. I turned down somebody yesterday who wanted to join your summer team. Okay, cool. Well, how much is it? Told them the price on the website. Very affordable. I mean, like this. I can get that from somewhere else. Blah blah. blah. We can't get what we get from somewhere else. You have academy. So well, you, lost, else. you lost that. So yeah. Since you lost it, so go somewhere else. else. So we want to get more. Like yeah, if, you, if this is your top team, yeah, we are top of in our program. But I, I'm going to take my top team and I can drop them anywhere in a tournament, and they're going to compete. And once we're at that level, sure, let's talk about a name or two. But besides that. The name doesn't really matter. The parents got to stop doing that too. Not only our organization, but all organizations. Like, just because you think your kid is here and the coach at school said he's not, the four or five teams you tried out for said he's not, mm-hmm. we developed said he's not, maybe it's you. Not, not, but maybe it's you. Maybe your kid just needs to be on this level, not the bottom, not the top, middle. So they can get reps, get better, and get comfortable with the game and move up. Yeah. We have kids that are doing that now. We have two or three kids that are moving up from our lower team. They're moving up right now. Yeah. They graduated up. Yeah. They show up to the academy. Show them, show out. They've gotten better. They listen. They watch basketball. They're coachable. They mm-hmm. ask questions. Now I, I, I'm comfortable with you playing at a higher speed, higher level. Right. Right. And here's the thing. So now I'm about to jump into it. A couple of years ago, we're traveling. We're playing down at Drive Five in Kansas. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's outside of Kansas City. It's, yeah, it's okay. It's outside. It's in Kansas. Yeah. But it's not Kansas City. And we're playing, and this dude next. This dude is next to me. Man. He's sitting there, and this kid plays on the other team. I'm uh, t- small talking. This dude's traveling from Colorado. And first thing he's Coach Mo. And then he started naming off. You talking about Mo Williams from the NBA? No. Who are y'all? We're a program out of Omaha. It's like, yeah, we're <laughs> developing. We're developing players, and that's what we're focusing on. And I sat there and watched this dude. And he started out just being a, a jerk in the stands initially, but then it turned into full blown, he going to heckle kids at a ninth grade basketball game. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and I was like, Looked at him like, I'm sorry that this is it for you. (laughs) I'm sorry that this is the peak of your life sitting in a stand in Kansas in a summer league heckling children. I'm sorry that this is, (laughs) I I, I apologize that this is as good as it's going to get for you, man. But I got bigger plans for myself and our kids. And what you're doing is sad. (laughs) It's really a sad state of affairs that you traveled from Colorado to here to heckle children, heckle a bunch of 13 and 14 year old kids. (laughs) That is, and what we're seeing a lot of it is parents are losing all sense of, it's not, then we're not saying we're not, we're talking about parents that we're playing against. We see out there, people are losing all sense of perspective about what exactly they're doing. What are y'all doing? Are you here to support the kids? That's good. Are you here to actually fist fight other parents? Are you trying to pick fights with the coach? Are you coming on the floor during the game? What are you doing out here, bro? Is this what this is? Is this, you think that this is the make or break? We we like in a real adaptation of above the rim and this is the championship game. And this is for all, this is for everything and scholarships and futures will be determined in this game at this very moment. I watched a bunch of games last week. I ain't ready to play. I just watched the energy of 
parents and the energy that had how, how they were pumped up, how they were talking about, how they were fired up, and it, it rubbed off into the kids. I watched three fights last week at the junior high level because parents were egging kids on to punch a kid. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? But here's the problem I have. I don't bite my tongue. The problem I have is these are the programs you sign up for. These are the programs that you have told you told us that you don't want to waste your time with us, which is sweet. Go ahead, yeah. move on. Not everybody's we're not for everybody. But I can watch you the next week and where you put your kid at. They're the main one in this meal in this melee, and you're the main one egging them on. Right. <laughs> egging them on. So what are you doing? It ain't about the program. Now you're making that program. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that program didn't want you with that energy either. And now you got them as a target. I understand passion. People get excited watching games. And sometimes you do draw back and forth. It just happens in the same. Yeah, yeah. But when we're talking about fist fights <laughs> and people trying to fight and trying to go on the floor and stuff like that, that's where it, it's crossing a line and crossing into something else because we have to question what you're in this for. Is this about making your kid better or do you just want your kid to win basketball games because it makes you feel good about you? And that's why we are a development program. Yeah, we play in tournaments. The tournaments help us represent and help us let the kids show what they've been working on. It allows us to get some more teachable stuff that we can bring back to academy. So sometimes the kids go out and they don't play up to the level that we expect them to. But you know what? We bring them back academy and we teach to it the same development program has produced some college athletes it's produced some boys and girls it's produced some varsity players produced some jv players and that's when, it, when parents start because i've had to grind and get where i'm at you've had to grind and get where you're at but one thing you can't doubt is our influence and what we've done and helped some of these kids here and so the same kid that wanted to develop and get yourself better mm -hmm. are the kids that are in college they, they took their time they were like Okay, coach, I need to use my left hand because the coach in high school said, he, I'm not going to make the team. All right, so let me show you how to use your left hand right. and let's work on it like two. Realize how much little time you have to get better and how real it is. I break it down like this. If you go to a class A school, you might have a freshman A and B team. Right. Sophomore year, you might have a reserve team. But sophomores, juniors, but junior year, JV or varsity, whatever. And senior year, you can only play varsity. Most kids, schools, if I'm wrong, you can comment, but I've seen enough of it. Most schools will probably run eight. Nine to ten is going to be rare unless you're beating somebody pretty good. Or you're running five out, five people in, five out. A lot of programs don't do that. Hey, you are right now going to the lead center and places with 75 kids. I just counted that there's only eight that are going to be on this team. Out of that 7,508, after freshman year, you still got to make those teams. The window closes. Right. So if we're telling you now, hey, you're going to the, a team that's won a state championship, a team that's been in the playoffs a lot, your window is going to be short. I'm going to take the kid that's disciplined, who, who wants to work hard, over the kid that is undisciplined and thinks that I'm going to still shoot the, this ball this weird floater, no matter what force, because I don't want to listen to anybody. Cause I wouldn't develop to listen to anybody. Right. So as a coach in high school, I don't want you. Cause I, I got 30 of you came to tryouts. But I don't have five of this guy that works really hard. He's the first one back on defense. He's the first one on the ground. He's the first one, yes, coach. He's the first one that practices. the last one to leave practice. Okay? And that's the things we're trying to deal with in our academy. We, we have talks before and, and after. And the kids probably like, here's coach. At the end, if you listen to it, we're talking about stuff that we wish we would have done. And I said, I wish I had done. I wish I would have worked hard. I wish I would have stayed an extra hour. I wish I would have listened to my, and that's the development part of it. It's not, hey, you guys got an hour? Oh, time's up. Go home. Have a good day. We're like, hey, man, God didn't really lock in today. Yeah. What do you mean? As a group, we didn't lock in today. I did a spring break. Or something. That doesn't really it's matter. Not an excuse. Like, you didn't really lock in today. So we talk about those things because the academy, to be the thing that gets you going forward. If you are a great player, let's make you better. If you are a great shooter, let's make you a great ball handler. If you are a good rebounder, let's make you a better defender. And I think that's the thing that we, that's what we're emphasizing here is parents need, if you're committed to getting better and committed to the grind, there, there is no other questions about what needs to be done. Mm -hmm.
you show up and you put in your work. Now, whether that's putting in work with us or putting in work somewhere else, it's fine, but you got to show up with the mind state of we're here to get better.